Hey everybody, Dano here, and I've got a movie review for you. So this weekend, Disney released its latest motion picture, Maleficent, starring uh, Angelina Jolie as the evil, evil fairy. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, and uh, basically my overall impression. So let me start off by saying that when I first heard about this movie, I didn't quite know what to think. I wasn't super into it, I didn't think it was a great idea until about six months ago I saw the first preview and then I was I looked at it a little bit differently and the preview is really the creepy version of the uh, the song you know I know you I walked with you once upon a dream that thing that's the part that like really sold me is how eerie and weird they made the song so for those of you who have not already gathered this movie is about the sorceress Maleficent from Disney Sleeping Beauty uh, now, it's a different take because now we're focusing on Maleficent herself and not so much the whole Aurora and all the fairies, but they do make their appearances in the movie. Uh, so one of the things I really liked about it was how cool and fantastic the whole world looked. But at times it kind of came off like it was really, really overdone with CGI and it was kind of a really dark gray looking movie. It kind of reminded me of uh, the Alice in Wonderland reboot that Tim Burton did a few years ago, which I kind of like but there's a lot of stuff about it I don't like. Uh, I kind of hope for a little bit more color, but I kind of see where they went. Overall, it did look really well, if you're into that kind of thing. Now I'm gonna try to keep this as spoiler-free as possible, which is kind of funny, because we already know the story of Sleeping Beauty, so how can you really spoil it? We all kind of know what happens. Um, but let me just say that Disney does an interesting job of retooling the story so that it fits with this new narrative, but at the same time, it also kind of changes the canon of Disney. I mean, it, at the end of it, you can kind of have to see it to know what I'm talking about, but it kind of changes. It says, this is how it happened. You might have heard a different version of the story, which makes me think, what's next? I just wonder if this is going to open the floodgates to like more Disney villain rehashes of the old story. Are we going to see Jafar? Or maybe we'll see Hades. That'd be a really cool one to see. Another uh, Peter Pan reboot, this time Hook. But not, I guess I can't really call it Hook because there's already been a movie called Hook. Maybe Captain James Hook or whatever. I don't know. It's going to be kind of interesting. You know what else I noticed is the guy who played Stefan, who ends up being Maleficent's love interest early on and is the main catalyst for how she becomes who she is. He looked really familiar to me. In fact, I thought he kind of looked like the little boy from Hook. I don't know. What do you think? I, for one, enjoyed it. I ended up leaving the theater with a smile on my face. I still really liked the movie. Now, as far as movies goes, I usually like almost everything that I see. I'm one of those weirdos who, like, it's hard to hate something when I've spent so much money on it. It's kind of like I never want to be wrong. You know, it's like, uh, well, I, I, uh, I, don't know, I don't make mistakes. Every decision I make is the right decision always. When I spend that much money on something, I want to enjoy it. So even if the movie wasn't, like, great, in my head, I'm already like, I already spent a ton of money on this. I had better enjoy this. So I try not to go into movies like, uh, you know, with a hater's perspective ready to go. But I don't feel like it was a perfect movie. It was definitely felt like it was kind of a, a mishmash. Like the movie didn't quite know what it was going to be. Was it going to be like an action fairy tale? It had some, I think they were accidental comedic moments. I found myself laughing at some kind of awkwardly acted or awkwardly worded parts. There were some really cool CGI effects in this movie. Uh, in particular, the three fairies who we might previously know them as Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. They now are given different names, but when you see them in their original pixie small form, they did a really cool job using their big faces on the small CGI bodies. Another thing with the CGI is Angelina Jolie's cheekbones. Girl, those things looked sharp. You look like you could cut people with those things. How much of that was actually Angelina Jolie and how much of that was CGI? Uh, what I'm curious about is what do you guys think? Like, what should Disney do as far as the uh, their next villain reboot if they're gonna do one? Uh, let me know who you wanna see done in a new fancy Disney dark gray style. Uh, leave it down in the comments below because I wanna have a good conversation with you guys and kinda see what you guys think. I also wanna give a big shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate you watching my videos and leaving me feedback. I wanna hear what you guys think. Do you like my videos? Think I talk too much? Do I not talk enough? Would you rather just me stick to painting shoes? Let me know in the comments below. That way I can kind of tailor the channel to what you guys want to see. Or if you want to see more tutorials, don't worry, they're coming real soon. Um, so definitely stay tuned. Like, so I know if I should do more of these. Hit the subscribe button so I can make sure I'm making videos for the right people, you know what I'm saying? 
And uh, until next time, I will see you later. Bye.